Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Tuff is here in the lion's end. That's right. I'm here reporting to you live some unfortunate news in the wrestling world. Leon White, a.k.a. Big Van Vader, uh, passed away on Monday evening. Uh, it's Wednesday right now, so he passed away two days ago. His, I believe um, his daughter posted through his Twitter page the unfortunate news. And Vader, one of the best big men ever, in my estimation, one of the most underrated professional wrestlers of all time. His uh, notoriety, not only in the United States as a mega heel and a guy who wore that sweet-ass Vader hood with the smoke and steam coming out of it, um, but he also made a name in Japan. Don't forget, he was one of the most fearsome and also respected uh, North American wrestlers to compete in Japan. Um, and there's tons of stories, great footage all over YouTube. Try to find his matches over there. But what a tremendous talent. I feel like he was uh, totally underutilized, especially in uh, you know the, the latter part of his career in the 90s. And I'm saddened that he um, you know didn't... He didn't make any really more appearances of substance in the 2000s. I thought maybe, you know, he would have a nice little comeback and a run in WWE. Um, I know that he was 45 years old already in the year 2000, but I think that there was some room for him to be worked in there because in 2012, um, Monday Night Raw in Hartford, Connecticut, myself and GCW comrade Arms McGee were there live and he made a surprise appearance and he passed away in the uh, Monday he's 63 years old so in 2012 he was what 50 57 so he was still doing Vader bombs and he looked great so I think that in his mid to latter 40s which is where Triple H is right now he could have put together uh, some good matches he was still working the indies here and there um, I'm saddened that he didn't get that well, maybe he didn't want to, but he didn't get that opportunity to be able to, you know, do that. But, um, you know, the master of the the first really large human being to do a moonsault at 400 plus pounds, which was quite impressive, may I add. Um, and going back to that Hartford show, we actually started a chant uh, that was picked up on TV, a Let's Go Vader chant, which I don't know if we could take full credit for, for all of it, but, you know, I think we started it up in our section. I think a lot of people think they started, but, yeah, I guess we started it. Well, I'll, t I'll take credit for it. Uh, no, no shame over here on the Tough Ones channel. Um, and also, we started a Fire Johnny chant. I think we started a revolution. It trended number one worldwide on Twitter that day. Even Vince McMahon uh, called it out later in the show. So uh, that's, I, th I think, I don't know if that was the start of it, but, um, you know, we started that night for sure. Um, but yes, you know, unfortunately, uh, Vader has passed away. Um, you know, it, a lot of fans are upset at the fact that he wasn't inducted into the Hall of Fame, especially this past year when it was quite well known, um, you know, in recent months and probably recent years that Vader had um, a, a, a heart ailment and his condition was going down, but it appeared like he was making a rebound. Um, Unfortunately, it didn't work out, and it was his time. Um, it was time. It's time. It's heaven time. And that's where uh, Leon White belongs because from all accounts, uh, from all the dirt sheets and the reporters and also his colleagues in the professional wrestling world, he was one of the true nice people in the business. Um, during a time when there probably maybe weren't as many nice people to bring up the youngins. Um, so, uh, I'll leave you with the thought of, you know, saying a, a little, uh, prayer for, for Leon White and his family. Um, but also I would be remiss in not mentioning needing to log on and check out the search bar on this YouTube page and typing in WCW Baywatch. Vader was part of that episode. I'm quite sure. And it is absolute wholesome entertainment from the WW cast and you know just shows that you know Vader was part of popular culture in more ways than one big guy you're gonna be missed the tough one he misses you already as does the rest of the GCW sending their condolences your way daddy -o.